because, of course, it's President Obama's first 100 days in office. It's the anniversary today. And Richard Green is author of Words That Shook the World, 100 Years of Unforgettable Speeches and Events. And, Richard, I'm sure you had a couple of them coming from uh, President Obama over the last 100 days or so. It's great to have you join the program. Well, thank you so much. Now, he's definitely going to be in the, in the group of speeches in the first 20, the first speeches of the 21st century. It gives you more material for a second <laughs> book. Follow up. Yeah, exactly. We have a question well, that's going up on our board. I'm going to get you in just a second, Richard. It's just, uh, this question, maybe you can answer it and, and go ahead with what you were going to say. The question we're asking our viewers is, how would you rate President Obama's handling of the economy so far? Uh, we have very good, fair, very poor, good, and poor. I kind of skipped around there. But, uh, Richard, you don't have to necessarily editorialize if you don't want to. Please feel free, though. As far as maybe expressing what's going on in the economy. I'm sure you can talk a little bit about that. So what are your thoughts? Well, well here's, here's the most important thing about a CEO of a company or the CEO of the country, which is, of course, what Obama is. How do, how do people feel? Are they inspired? Are they confident? Are they depressed? Are they scared? And the demeanor, the nonverbal communication from the CEO or the president I think is the most important thing about that. I mean, it goes back to Franklin Roosevelt, you know, that, that incredible strength and, and, and conviction that he had, the only thing to fear is fear itself. And Obama, the reason he's at 69% approval rating and the reason so many people like him, even though there have been a lot of controversial decisions that he's done and the economy hasn't, you know, responded I immediately and we're not back over 10,000 on the Dow, is because people trust him and they like him. Why do they? Why do people have a response to a CEO or the President of the United States? What we know is that over 90% of that is from the nonverbals, the voice tone and the body language, and that is the first secret of great communicators, and Obama has that nailed. He does uh, seem to have that uh, going for him thus far. Now, what will you be looking for in the speech tonight as far as uh, body language and in any you know, potential buzzwords, if you will, uh, is you know trying to reassure America about not only you know, the swine flu, but clearly he's got you know the big budget. We just heard the House has uh, passed that; still needs to work its way through the Senate, uh, where they do ha the Democrats do hold a majority of seats. But be interesting to see how that is is played politically. So uh, I guess those would be two uh, hot button topics. You know, you can also look at the wars abroad as well. But uh, we'll start with the uh, domestic. Well, I'm going to say something that's different in a way than what you've asked, because I, I'd like for all of the business people that watch this network to understand that it almost doesn't matter. And this is a little controversial, but I've been coaching politicians and business people and celebrities for 25 years. It almost doesn't matter what he says. As I said before, what really matters is how calm he looks. Now, if he went and he had the best words ever written for a president at this moment of time in history, and he looked nervous and he was sweating like Richard Nixon with the beads of sweat on, on his upper lip during the debate with John F. Kennedy, or he was shaking back and forth, or he wasn't grounded in how he was communicating, people would be freaked out mm -hmm. no matter what he said. Now, obviously, you want to have great words you know, that are strategic, but most important, it is that conviction, that strength, that certainty. Wow, okay. Wow, I'm inspired by this. He seems certain. He knows more than I do. Okay, but I'm going to follow him. Okay, let me stop you there, though, because I, th I think, uh, first of all, I think it's great. I want to get some insight, too, on some of these secrets for communication, because Lord knows I we're, could we're use it in everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, but, Richard, he, there's, there's a certain amount of consistency in message and in the way that President Obama acts that it's hard to know sometimes when he gets particularly emotional or involved in something. It's almost that he's so, and it's been one of the criticisms of him, he's been so calm right. and so even that you don't really know when he's really, really serious about something or just sort of serious about something. For example, the press conference today with Arlen Specter, for example, that's the same type of a President right. Obama we saw at the town hall meeting. Very similar delivery, behavior. Is, can, that, can that backfire? What people need to understand about Barack Obama is he's not a normal guy. <laughs> he's not a normal guy. When I first saw him in, 19, in 2004 in Boston, I was blown away, and I turned to a person I was sitting next to who happened to be a United States senator, and I said, this guy's going to be the next president of the United States because he is, he is very zen. He's like, honestly, you're gonna, this may seem hyperbolic, but he's like Gandhi or Mandela where he, he doesn't get excited. He doesn't get emotional. 
And sometimes I'd like to see them be more emotional. And listen, I have to tell you, I think the way that they sold the, the stimulus package uh, has, was horrible. I think there needed to be much more information, especially to convince the Republicans why we needed to spend this much money. I think they've done a poor job on that. But in terms of his personal demeanor, you're not going to see him. Even with the airplane flying over New York, he goes, you know what? It was a mistake. Now, he right. communicated that he was angry, but you're not going right. to see that kind of emotion it from was... no drama Obama. Yeah, and no drama Obama. That's I like that little catchphrase. Really yeah. quick here, because Richard, I, I can't let you go without asking you. You have a DVD called The Five Communication Secrets that swept Obama to the presidency. Can you give us one secret without us looking at the DVD? You know what? Five secrets. If you do any one of these, you're going to be a much more effective CEO or CFO or salesperson or whatever it is. The most important thing is whenever you speak, whether it's on television or in front of an audience or in front of your board of directors, you have to be authentically passionate, authentically mm. passionate, not just coming from all of the message points that you have in your head, but really speak from your heart and your gut and people will follow and they will have enormous loyalty for you no matter what you're doing. I think you've done a great job of communicating that yeah. message too. Richard, I've been, I've been studying you as you've been talking the whole time. Very provocative. Yes. It's good. Yes. Richard, it's well, great to well, have thank you. Thank you. I have a little what? Go ahead. You're welcome. I'll be back anytime. I was just saying it, it's easier because I have a little smiley face here in the Fox studio <laughs> here in Los Angeles. <laughs> That's Don't good. forget to smile. We do that on purpose. It just kind of warms the soul. Uh, Richard, thank you very much. Richard Green, remember, check out his DVDs and his book. Sounds like uh, great examples. And remember, speak with authenticity. Authenticity? Yeah, authenticity. With, with That's not a word. Authenticity. Yeah.